and welcome. This is the tutorial on how to disable Windows Sync Center. Um, as you see, I'm doing this inside of a, a virtual machine. It's not going too well, but I'm going to see how it works. It's been a while since I've done this. Um, a lot of people hate this icon, even though they know it's not eating up much system resources. They just want it to go away. And there's pretty much no way to get it to go away except for actually disabling Windows Sync Center. <coughs> so let's see what the uh, the official word is from Microsoft on how to disable this before we try to cook up any, you know, homemade how-to. Microsoft uh, how to disable Windows Sync Center. This ought to help, right? Well, it actually doesn't. Um, Sync Center, Windows, blah blah blah. How do I disable or turn off Sync Center? You can't disable or turn off Sync Center. So Microsoft pretty much tells you that you can't do it. And I've seen a lot of tutorials out there on how to do it and you know, some of them work for some people, some of them don't. Um, hopefully this one works for you if the other ones didn't. The other ones did not work for me. Um, I don't even remember how to disable it. I'm just going to kind of learn again and maybe you can learn with me. <coughs> I'm sure the sync center under the, the control panel might help out some, right? As you see, I'm using a, a modded theme for Windows. It's uh, something called Dark Edition or something. I'm doing this inside of a virtual machine. Uh, I, I don't think anybody should run these weird versions on their actual computer. I'm also using a virtual machine because I don't want Link's Windows Sync Center actually touching my computer. I don't like Sync Center either. I also don't like any devices that have a sync button or even a feature on them. But let's try to move on with defeating this. Um, <coughs> disabling the offline files. If you go to manage offline files, if you disable offline files, that should help you some. Uh, it'll say you might want to restart or something don't restart quite so yet. Set up partnerships. Um, I'm not sure how to get rid of that. I don't know. Some kind of deleting results, conflicts, partnerships. Maybe I can delete this somehow. I don't know. I can we delete this? But Microsoft SQL Server 2000 seems to be running. And I think that's what it's trying to sync with. And since I can sync with it or pull up the properties for it. But you might just want to try to uninstall it. But if you go to the add or remove programs, you'll notice that it's not really in there. You can't really find it to uninstall it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hunt it down and delete it program files, and there's two of them, Microsoft SQL Server and Microsoft SQL Server Compact Edition. I'm just going to highlight both of them and delete both of them. Yeah, just go ahead and delete both of them. And it says I can't, um, probably because it's running, right? So, go in Task Manager, and make sure you're viewing processes for all users, and Maybe you can find the SQL in here somewhere. Hmm. It's 
got to be in here somewhere, ready? Find it and delete it. Well, first let's find out what it's called. I'm sure there's something in here. Some kind of SQL rescheduled DLL and Reflex. So maybe, uh, maybe that's in here somewhere. doesn't seem to be going over so well, does it? Maybe reflex. No. Okay. Well, I deleted most of what I could, right? It says that one's being used. So, both of these DLLs are currently in use. Maybe I deleted enough of it for it to take effect. So maybe I can uh, find it through here maybe. And I don't really see anything. Oh yeah, no comments about the McAfee. I hate it too, I don't know why it's on there. Must have been bloatware installed with some other crap. Let's try to restart. <coughs> and yeah, it's probably gonna take forever for this stupid virtual machine to restart. It usually does. stuff in one single take, even if it is a little monotonous. So basically all we did was we disabled the, uh, the offline files and also tried to delete the SQL server that I was attempting to sync with, but it seemed that that was one of the main ones, main reasons. Yeah, it seems that... VMware is trying to access, eh, whatever, doesn't matter. Firewall. I'm sure my VMware is not going to do anything too bad to my network. Just wait for it to start up a little bit. And as you can see, I do believe that Sync Center has been disabled. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool, don't you think? Yeah, a disabled sync center, even though uh, Microsoft says that you can't. I hope this works for you, and uh, if you have any tutorial requests, send them to me, and I welcome all comments. Thank you.